And you see my cousin over here with that drip. Show him what you got on. Show him what you got on. Ooh. Yes. Let me do a give y'all a hug. Okay, boo. I see you. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Ava, what you gotta say? Say something to the camera. Cheese. Cheese. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's how we doing. So pretty much we're at Bovalon Beach, the Bovalon area, pretty much like the hot spot where everything is like the best eateries, the, the best, best beaches. Yeah, the nice, 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 the nice best beach, the best nice, like, nice bars, bars and like, you know, um, pretty much, yeah, the best of everything, okay? Um, so just follow me a little bit. And we'll show you around town. Excursions, the shop. It's just bomb. It's bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay? So we'll show you like the beach and some more stuff later, okay? Hi guys. Um we are here in Bobalon area where everything actually happens. So in case you find yourself in Seychelles and you don't have a car, you don't know your way around, here is central. Um we've been here for like say two days and we've been to like over six cheese. Um there's Bravo. There's both house. Please show them. And it's been interesting. Yeah, you will love it. Bovalon area is where everything actually happens. And you can see the street comes to life at basically any time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. So um what I was saying about Seychelles, pretty much you need a car. You actually need a car. But I mean some people you can still either like hire someone to drive you around um i mean us we have a car because we're just so, yeah we've been able to move around yeah we're actually quite adventurous so yeah we like to explore and you know have the freedom the yeah freedom, so. currently right now in seychelles you cannot like you if you're not a local you obviously can't do any of their like any public, public bus so exactly you're stuck with having to get a driver mm -hmm. and a car for yourself or you drive yourself yeah literally i mean but uh, there have been people who like they just stay in this area the bovalon area and then they just like move around and just walk like yeah. here is central yeah. and there are lots of connecting beaches here so everything works yeah there's like central point but you know for us we always gonna do the most always gonna try to go to every single location every single spot so we for sure we had to get a car that's yeah. it but that's everything we'll get back to you guys later so hey guys hi guys um uh it's a beautiful morning and the tides are low actually the tides are really low mm -hmm. Let's so normally we could never be this far out into the beach like the tides would come all the way up and like we couldn't even like where we are here we wouldn't be able to i don't know if you guys can see like you can see that's where the water's supposed to be and it would be deep so this is where the water would usually end up and even be standing where she is now will be too deep to even get there like from all like imagine the water being filled up here all the way there so where she's standing it would be too deep so um it's morning time are, are low the beach is actually very calm and serene especially in the mornings because um yeah so when um well sometimes in the morning sometimes it's low sometimes it's not it just depends but um Forget about the tide. Look yeah. at us. I Ooh. know. <laughs> okay. okay. Tide where? Mm. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. This right here. There she goes. Hey guys. I am feeling all blue this morning. The heights are low, and yeah, it feels good to be here. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Such a lovely day. Oh my gosh, this place is so gorgeous. How is this even real? Like, hi guys. Hey, boo. <laughs> 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 oh 
Uh, we could, I'm, I'm just trying to show a little bit of our new location. This is just how this view is breathtaking, mm. really. The so waters are blue. Mm -hmm. When I mean blue, they're crystal blue. Yeah. Yeah. The view is really, really good. Yeah, so we're about to try. I'm about to try to get up this rock. It's not as easy as it looks. And if I need help, then I guess she'll help me get up the rock, right? I'll help you go. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Oh, mm. yes. That's layage real quick. Oh, girl. Mm. Yes. Mm. Boom. Boom. Just like that. <laughs> All right. What you gotta say, boo? As I said, this view is to die for. <laughs> what every hype, what every energy and yeah. space is to get here. So yeah, um, yeah I'm having the time of my life. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I will say, like, if you know how to do Seychelles right, then it is worth the hype. It's worth all that stuff. All that stuff. That <laughs> what every hype. Like, if you know how to do Seychelles right, then it is worth the hype. It's worth all that stuff. All that stuff that you read about, all that stuff that you... It, it's really worth it. Like, I mean, come on now. Come on. Let me see. Like, let me just try to... So that y'all really, really see. Like... What? <laughs> Then, of course, you got us good-looking mamas over here. Oh, hey. yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's give them one more from the side. Mm. So, guys, we are at the south side of um, Maki Island. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> you see you, this, this? You see this? The tides are very, very tight, right? They go off. My chicken stuff, that most people want to go deep down there. Mm -mm. Yeah, but the water is so pissed up blue. Very blue, very, um, the plantations are actually way green mm. and beautiful. Yeah. If, you, if you can't swim, yeah, like she can. If you can't swim, don't, please, don't, don't go to the deep end. Respect yourself. If you mm. cannot swim, respect yourself. Don't yeah. get crazy. Those sites are not playing. <laughs> they are not for children. Yeah. <laughs> or for people that can't swim like me. So. Yeah. So, all right, well, that's it. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Hi, girl. I'm here at the Botanical Gardens in Seychelles and it's been beautiful. I love the scenery. These are the turtles. They're all asleep. So, we're out here. I don't usually do this and I'm kind of scared, but I guess. They move slow, so I'm pretty sure I would be able to run if it gets too close. Oh, no, damn. <laughs> have Ichi over there feeding them, being nice. Uh huh. Being nice. Ooh. Uh oh. Good job. You want some more? To them? Yeah. But hmm? he's not saying ah. Uh. He's not saying ah? Uh. Well, yours doesn't have any more um, leaves on it, so I don't see why he would say ah. Uh. Yeah, but yours yours doesn't have any more leaves. Can you show me how to get the leaves?
we are at uh, the Four Seasons in Seychelles. Where we were at previously was more like the northern part. Is it, the vibe was different. It was it's different vibes, pretty mm -hmm. much. Way more chilled and relaxed mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. against the other parts that has more, I'll say, activity. Mm -hmm. More buzz, you yeah. Know. More hype, more hype, yeah. More hype. Mm -hmm. Um, but So hi guys, um, this is Bravo we're talking about. As you can see, it has very beautiful seaside view. And we'll show and you guys. seafood is very delicious. Yes. We tried it out a couple of times and it was delicious. Yes. Then the view is amazing too. And that's what we'll take you to. So guys, as I was saying earlier, this is the view side I was talking about. Yeah. Like we have our table right by this side. Bravo is really nice. The ambiance is really, really nice. What you think, Nana? So, the moment I walked in, this is like backdrop. Mm -hmm. First thing I talk of, I thought about was pictures. Mm -hmm. Like here is really picture worthy. Really. Yeah, yeah. Imagine a shot here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ava, you like this place? Yeah. You like the food in the bicycle? Where are you right now? Thank you, Bravo. Gosh, this looks delish. This, this is from Coffee Club. Dang, this looks good. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Perfect. And you know, greedy, greedy um, Ichi. Greedy <laughs> self. Always looking for some chocolate. <laughs> I know. Hey, but you greedy too. You're not exempt. Just like your mama. That's mine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I Thank like so I like hers. Mm. Yeah, Mine I don't like have no chocolate that. in it. Yeah. Thank you. And then a nice pick. That was nice. Beautiful. This looks yes. nice. Yes. I should have chose this one, but I hope I'm not getting some calories on this trip. You may. You may. I've been having some plenty sweet tooth. We walk it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The whole of Seychelles is just so mm -mm. pretty, right? Mm -mm. It's just so 
This is beautiful, really. For real. Very. I, I, it really is worth the hype. It's just it's even shocking, really. Very. And we've still been to many different places, many different countries, but still. It's I'm just... sure you guys be wondering, like, these beaches are endless. Mm. Is this the same or one place? No. Mm. Mm. That's only diverse places we've been to. Right. Or, you know, you want to this... eat, do yeah. fine dining. Yep. Yeah. All that is here. This is also the place where you do the PCR Our test. test. place where you do the PCR test. test and we'll show you guys that a little later. It's such a smooth process. Yeah. Like so if you were to have to do that, um mm -hmm. so smooth, so easy. But first off, Ava didn't come to play with y'all. Ava say cheese. So today we're on the marina side and it just looks so gorgeous. Ava, are you ready to get on the yacht? Okay, I know you got some mosquito bites, but don't scratch it, okay? So, uh, don't scratch it too much. Don't scratch it too much, yeah. Don't scratch it. We'll put some ointment on it, okay? Say cheese. cheese. All right. Get this. Like, what are you doing? Say hi. Hi. Hi, Ava. Hi, Ava. Throughout the trip, I shared some of the challenges that I had while driving here in Seychelles. The roads were really curvy, really windy, and the streets were really narrow. And it's not the same all across the entire island. Like if you go to Victoria, which is the capital of Mahe Island, the streets are much wider, much easier to drive. But throughout the curviness and the windiness, that wasn't even really my main problem that I had. The biggest problem that I had was this. Like what? How dare you sleep when I'm busy struggling with the GPS and the roads? You could at least stay up and ask me if I need some gum. Do I need some juice? Do I need some water? Am I tired? Am I sleepy? Do I need something to eat? You could at least stay up to do that. After a while, Nana and I concluded that Evelyn can't stay in the front seat anymore. She has to go to the back. If you want to sleep, you go to the back. You can't be in the front sleeping. By the end, I got more confident. I mastered the streets and I feel like a champion. So proud of myself.